Hey guys, welcome to another lecture from Basic Statistics. So, in the previous lecture, we understood what population is, what samples are, right? We collect data, we collect samples. Now, why are we doing that? Basically, from this data that we collect, we can figure out some important things. From the data that we collect, we extract several information. We can find several summarizing numbers, numbers that can characterize your data, convey some salient features. One very important type of measure are the measures of location. One such measure of location, which is very important, from population or sample point of view is called mean. Mean, what is mean? The average mean, the arithmetic average for any data that you collect. The sample mean or the arithmetic mean for any great data is given as, if you have a sample, the mean of that sample is generally called sample mean, sample mean denoted by X bar, the sample mean x bar of observations, say x1, x2 till xn, where all these are some numbers, is given as the sum of all these upon n. n is the number of observations that you have. So summation xi upon n is your sample mean. जिसे हम x bar की तरह denote करते हैं. अब ये sample mean जरूरी क्यों है? Mean जरूरी क्यों है? खुद सोचिए. If it, it is any characteristic, say in your class you want to know what the average weight of student is. Now, every one of the individual weight is very difficult. But if I have a value, an average value, an average value, एक एवरेज वैल्यू आ जाए तो देन यू हैव अ फेयर आइडिया ऑफ व्हाट इज द एवरेज वेट ऑफ एनीवन हु इज लाइक स्टडीइंग इन योर क्लास यस देयर कुड बी डिफरेंट सी एवरेज इट इज नॉट नेसेसरी दैट द एवरेज हैज टू बी योर वेट इज व्हाट द एवरेज वेट इज नो योर वेट माइट बी समवेयर अराउंड इट बट एवरेज गिव्स यू दैट सेंटर लोकेशन लुक व्हाई आर वी कॉलिंग इट द मेजर ऑफ लोकेशन बिकॉज़ डेटा का एक लोकेशन पॉइंट एक सेंटर पॉइंट ही बता देता है दैट्स व्हाट इज हैपनिंग विद मी सो द फिजिकल इंटरप्रिटेशन ऑफ एक्स बार एक्चुअली डेमोंस्ट्रेट्स हाउ इट मेजर्स द लोकेशन व्हाट लोकेशन सेंटर मीन है तो सेंटर लोकेशन ऑफ अ सैंपल अब जैसे सैंपल के लिए एक्स बार है ऑफ कोर्स यू कैन आल्सो टॉक अबाउट द पॉपुलेशन मीन दैट इज मीन ऑफ a particular population just as x bar represents the average of observations in a sample the average value in the population can also be calculated it is generally given as population mean and we take the greek letter mu for it mu represents population mean x bar represents सैंपल मीन ये चीज मैंने आपको लास्ट लेक्चर में भी बताई थी तो यहां पर क्या होगा अगेन इट विल बी द सम ऑफ कैपिटल एन नंबर ऑफ आइटम्स इन नंबर ऑफ ऑब्जर्वेशन इन पॉपुलेशन कैपिटल एन लिया जाता है इन जनरल सम ऑफ कैपिटल एन पॉपुलेशन वैल्यूज अपॉन एन दैट इज कैपिटल एन अगेन दैट इज द टोटल नंबर ऑफ ऑब्जर्वेशन दैट यू हैव कॉन्सेप्ट सेम रहेगा सी द डिफरेंस बिटवीन सैंपल मीन इन पॉपुलेशन मीन बेसिकली इज सैंपल मीन इज इजी टू Uh, figure out sample mean you have sample you can find out sample mean population mean is not very easy to figure out and that's the reason why we focus on sample sample gives us some representation of the population in fact please remember always mu is actually one of the most important often the most important characteristic of a population halaki mean mein ek drawback zarur hai ड्रॉबैक क्या है मीन का समटाइम्स यू नो इन योर डेटा सेट यू माइट हैव सम आउटलायर्स इट कैन मेक एन इन अप्रोप्रिएट मेजर ऑफ सेंटर अंडर सम सर्कमस्टांसिस व्हाट आर दोज सर्कमस्टांसिस स्पेशली व्हेन यू नो यू हैव आउटलायर्स इन इन योर डेटा सेट नाउ व्हाट डू आई मीन बाय दैट लेट्स टेक एन एग्जांपल हियर सी एन एग्जांपल कुड बी दैट कॉस्टिक स्ट्रेस क्रोजन क्रैकिंग ऑफ आयन एंड स्टील हैज बीन स्टडीड बिकॉज ऑफ फेलियर्स अराउंड रिबेट्स इन स्टील बॉयलर्स एंड फेलियर्स ऑफ स्टीम रोटर्स कंसिडर द अकम्पनिंग ऑब्जर्वेशन ऑन एक्स व्हिच इज इक्वल टू द क्रैक लेंथ 
in millimeters as a result of constant load stress corrosion test on smooth bar tensile specimen for fixed length of time. So suppose that gives us the following data. Suppose your X1 is 16.1, X2, all these are the crack lengths in millimeters. Now, if you look at the data, 16, 9, 24, 20, so on and so forth. If you look at this value, X14 is a value hai, which is 45, which is way above what the other values are. One is 32, bhi hai, but otherwise you will see it's... Uh, in 20s or, uh, you know, in the 10s, 45 is a big value. If you include 45 in the calculation of this mean, you will figure out that you are getting the mean as 21.18. If you take only 20 observations, these are 21 observations, including 45. If you take 20 observations, you do not take that 45. Your mean is 19.99. So, you can see, there was a little difference. I mean, you have an outlier, but you can see, there is a difference. You have 10, 20s, then there is one observation, 32.4, and then suddenly 45. So, of course, it's an outlier. And you can see, this change say it's outlier ki wajay say you will see that outlier has increased the mean the average jo cracks ka average hai usko more than one unit se isne bada diya hai more than one unit so, ab agar isme bhoat hi bada koi outlier catastrophic you know value say 295 millimeters as a crack so agar wo mene le liya to the mean will turn out to be 33.09 which is much, much more than uh, the values here. In fact, sirf ek hi value hai, jo 32.4 which is around 33. Otherwise, none of the values are even around this. Bilkul bhi ye bilkul bhi data ko represent nahi kar raha hai. So, this is the major problem of using uh, mean as the measure of location here, okay? Because it's not giving the correct true picture of the data but having said that x bar is generally taken as a point estimate it's the best guess of mu mu which is the true average x bar ko hum log point estimate lete hai that is the best guess but we have to be very careful when we are collecting our data ki kahi usme outlier to nahi hai but mostly what happens is that we do use X bar because what happens is that sometimes we know that the population data will not be outliers in that way and that will not be normally distributed. Hoga. So please write down, although X bar does have this potential defect, it is still the most widely used measure for location. Why? The reason behind it is because there are many populations for which extreme outliers in the sample would be unlikely. And when you are sampling from such populations, ye kaun si population hogi, jin mein aapka normal distribution hoga, jo bell-shaped population hogi, because bell-shaped mein, if you see, the concentration is more uh, like this, extremes mein kam hai percentage of values on the extremes is much lower okay so that is why so the sample mean will tend to be stable and you know quite representative of the sample isliye mean is widely used okay but having said that this is a drawback outliers is a drawback when it comes to mean especially think about it Socho, in certain situations, this becomes very crucial. Suppose you are studying income in a group of people or in a group of population, in, in a population, you are trying to study the income. Now, the sample of incomes often produced such outlying values and this becomes a problem. And the use of average income as a measure of location will be misleading. Because if income outlier, 
तो आपका पूरा का पूरा एवरेज चेंज हो जाएगा एंड यू वुड प्रॉब्ली थिंक द ग्रुप हैज अ मच हायर इनकम ऑन एन एवरेज कंपेयर टू द एक्चुअल इनकम्स पीपल हैव ओके सो इट इज अ मेजर कंसर्न ओके Let's now work on an example to find out mean for a given data set. Suppose we want to study the age of a certain population because of limited resources we can't study the entire population. We'll pick some randomly we will pick randomly some individuals say 20 individuals are randomly selected and we have their ages in years. What is the mean of this sample? So we want to find out the mean age. Suppose I have 20 observations here and the following are the age so what you will do you would require a total of age find the total of age the total of age turns out to be 1107 average age would be the this total upon 20 because there are 20 observations and that gives you that this group of people have an average age of 55.35 तो ये जिस भी ग्रुप को रिप्रेजेंट कर रहे हैं एवरेज एज उसकी ये है इसी तरीके से मे बी यू वॉन्ट टू नो अबाउट द हाइट ऑफ एवरेज हाइट ऑफ द पॉपुलेशन इसी तरीके से यू कैन एक्सटेंड दिस डेटा टू एवरेज हाइट एवरेज वेट एंड वट एवर अदर कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स यू वॉन्ट टू फिगर आउट फॉर दिस पॉपुलेशन दैट्स द यूज ऑफ एवरेज दैट्स द यूज ऑफ दिस मेजर ऑफ लोकेशन but yes we have to be very careful where it should not be used and that's something that i will discuss in the next lecture if not mean as a measure of location then what thank you very much